Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Series Strategy Game, and we're returning to our Let's Play of Command. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Series Strategy Gamer, and we are returning to our Let's Play of Command Modern Naval Air Operations, or Air Naval Operations, where we are fighting against uh, the Russians as NATO. So the Russians have just attacked us very heavily here uh, on our bridges in the Suvaki Gap between Kaliningrad and uh, Belarus. Belarus is allied to Russia, and this is an exclave of Russia. Main proper Russia is over here, so uh, the scenario is that they are attacking us in the Baltic countries. We are defending that, we need to keep up these bridges. We've done a terrible job at that because it's a horribly difficult situation. Uh, this is based on a Brexit scenario, so um, there's very little cooperation between the Western Allies, and most of the units are locked to us, but just last turn, uh, Germany has unlocked their units for us, so that's great to see. Uh, we've now access to all of these four, four or five, actually, air bases, including Neuenburg down there, Rostock, Warnemünder, Kiel, and Schleswig air base. So all of these are pretty good. We've also got a couple of ships in the Baltic Sea. Uh, we've got the Sachsen, we've got the Brandenburg, and there was one more in Kiel, which we're going to immediately launch. Let's have a look at that. So over here there is another, the Mecklenburg Vorpommern, another Brandenburg class. We're going to launch that, it's going to deploy in the next 10 minutes as the sailors get on board and all of that. Um, so that should be okay. The Sachsen and the Brandenburg, ideally I would like to get these guys together and, and in a common formation. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to ask the Sachsen to come down here, sort of towards Kaliningrad. And we're of course going to ask you to go ahead at flank speed because you need to come in here a little bit more fastly than, than others. And we're going to use the Brandenburg in a similar formation um, on, well, I guess, cruise speed is fine. And then once they are over here, I think they probably more or less match up. We've also got uh, this guy over here, which is a helicopter, which is an NH-90 from the Sachsen German Helicopter Anti-Submarine Warfare. And you know what, speaking of the Germans, it's kind of funny because the Germans actually use this game here um, as a simulation for their warfare or as part of their training. So what do we want to do with this helicopter? This guy is carrying, it's an anti-submarine warfare layout. So it carries a couple of sonar boys that can detect submarines. It carries um, um, torpedoes uh, that can be used to attack submarines. So that's pretty good. There's another one on this Saxon, I think. Yeah, the NH-90. I think we probably have similar aircraft over here. Ooh, Lynx uh, on the Brandenburg. The maritime surveillance loadout is pretty useless for us. It doesn't carry anything. It's just um, extreme. Ooh, you're not under my control. Oh, uh, that's a little bit silly. So I, I have access to the ship, but I don't have access to the aircraft on the ship. That's silly. Okay, you're fine though. Nevertheless, um, let's set up an anti-submarine warfare mission. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of reference points. Oh, that was just one. Silly me. Um, okay, I guess we can just do it this way then. Just add four reference points. A little bit ahead of the Saxon. That should be okay. Let's also select them so we can move them around a little bit. And what we basically want to do is simply a little bit ahead of the path of the Saxon. Um, have sort of a little cone thing where we want to s search for submarines. Shouldn't be too big, otherwise uh, we are not going to be able to cover it effectively. Um, but that should be fine. So yeah, we can now select these guys here. Um, we've Sorry, we've selected all of these four um, units. Deselect all reference points just in case we've selected something else somewhere. And then what we're going to do is we um, make these, we're going to make these guys here um, reference points relative with a rotating bearing to the Saxon. So that means that as Saxon is going to turn, this stuff is going to turn as well. So if it, we are sailing north, for, for example, uh, we'd be uh, pointing towards that direction. I only hope that, that there's no uh, other thing over there. So let's add a new mission. It's going to be um, the ASW, so anti-submarine warfare, Saxon. And that's going to be fine. And we do need to make sure that we've got that's not a strike mission, it's a patrol mission. It's an anti-submarine warfare patrol. Yeah, that's fine. Has failed, what? Oh, okay. So, wait a minute. This is not a valid area. Yeah, it is not a valid area because just of the numbering of these 
reference points. There's nothing bad with this. We can easily turn this around like that, and that should be fine. Good. So this is uh, pretty much the normal loadout for the mission reference. You can set a lot of different things, but mostly the game is um, pretty good at it. So let's actually do it like this. We do want to have single flight sites. We do want to have about a third of the aircraft that we're assigning to this active on station. Um, and that should be fine. Good. Yeah, no, I like this. This is a good mission. And what we're going to do then is take the helicopter from the Saxon here. And we are going to assign it to... A mission and that is of course ASW Saxon. So you're gonna fly over there that's gonna be fine and on the Saxon this guy here is only being ready but we are gonna also assign it so that once um, this guy is ready he'll do that. So that's fine perfect good not much else to do. You guys are converging so that's okay and at some point we're gonna uh, group these guys up. We've also from the Tor Heiterdahl here um, launched a couple of strikes here on these four ships and Honestly, you're returning to base. Do we have enough weapons over here? It's like the group has no weapons. That means no naval strike missiles either, it does it. So if that's the case, can I actually get you towards down here? I think you're probably going to turn away because that's just your mission profile, but that's fine. That's all right. Uh, then we've got these Polish guys here. You've also... I'm not actually sure what you're carrying. I don't think you're carrying anything that's really of, of good use to us. No. No anti-shipping weapons, only anti-submarine weapons and sort of short-range anti-air stuff. Three-mile radius, so that's pretty much nothing. Okay, so you know what? You're not actually going to be that effective, so what we do want to do is get you over here. And then you're going to join up with the Russian, uh, with the Germans. And cruise speed, I think, should be fine. Yeah, and then you're going to be all in the same vicinity. We've got a couple of aircrafts over here. We're going to assign that to their mission as well. They're also anti submarine warfare layouts, so that's fine. Good. Ocean is being withdrawn, unfortunately. That is not in our power anymore. We do have four missiles coming in over here. No, sorry, eight missiles coming in towards these guys down here, so that's going to be fine. And we've lost a couple of ships over here. I think we're probably going to lose this ship here as well. These guys are hopefully going to come back. I do want to know what this ship is. We have uh, an aircraft coming in here sort of soonish, so they should be spotting them soon. There's a submarine here, which I think is probably hostile, but it might be sporadic contact either uh, as well. And you guys here can probably come down there a little bit and just try to find out what that is. Over here in Estonia, there's not much we can do. We don't really have any aircraft ready. I'm very concerned about these ships. I don't know what they are. Um, all of these Russians are more or less withdrawing, so we only have this fight down here. And we have a lot of other aircraft, especially all of these Germans. Most of the Germans, I looked at them in between episodes, are fighters. But I don't know what to do with them, really. So I think one thing that we could do is launch... No, I don't want to launch them. Why would I launch them? The issue is just the hostile AA situation here. You can just see this is the AA range of the Russians from Königsberg or Kaliningrad. So it's pretty much all of Poland. They can shoot down aircrafts all over Poland. Um, I, we're actually sort of lucky that they're not doing that right now. But they might be doing that in the short-term future. So... This is why these guys here are extremely important to be coming in a little bit more aggressively, I think. So let's send them over towards there. And I actually think I want you to be on cruise speed so that you're a little bit more fuel efficient. What we're going to do soon is going to dive down with them and just come in below the radar horizon and attack uh, the Königsberg area. We're also going to take these four tornadoes, which have... A short range profile? Is that a short range? I don't think it's really that short range. 460 miles, so that should be, yeah, that's well within range of Kaliningrad. And these guys are carrying harm missiles, which are extremely, extremely useful for us, so yeah. Um, and you know what, we can also just launch them as a group, and that's going to be alright. Okay, let's resume the game over here, we've been talking for 8 minutes. Right, so these missiles are coming in, and we are shooting a lot of missiles on various aircrafts over here. They've just destroyed a bridge, that's, that's what this symbol is. 
Ooh. I swear to God, the audio on this game is is just so weird. Okay. Uh, they are shooting a missile there. They are probably trying to destroy one of these bridges. Oh, and they also destroyed a dam over here on on this river, which is uh, pretty. Uh, which actually is the thing that did trigger the Germans to come in here and um, be be fighting on our side. And again, sorry about the noise. It's it's just so weird. Okay, um, you know what? You guys don't have to go this fast. I think military speed is perfectly fine. Right. You are shooting missiles at these MiG-29s, that's fine. One missile on each. There are a couple of missiles going that way as well. We're gonna lose that bridge. But yeah, hopefully hopefully we can at least do some damage against their their bomber fleet. I do hear missiles being launched. Okay, that's you. That's fine. Some missiles are running out of energy, that's okay. Yeah, and you're launching more stuff that way. You do have two more missiles. After that, you're down to guns. Not sure whether I would really like to use guns on these F-16s. Yes, we know that this bridge was going to be destroyed. And we are detecting surface-to-air missiles. That's pretty... Ooh. Okay, so what we've just did last time is we took a couple of MiG-29s from the Polish Air Force and we were trying to attack these guys over here. And that failed horribly, horribly. Um, as... We launched missiles, but we were being driven away pretty aggressively. And so the fact is they used their surface-to-air missiles to punish our aircrafts that were coming in here. And yeah, so this is happening sort of again with these guys. Um, so can I ask you to first of all lay chav, and then what we would probably need to do is... Why is it this so weird? By the way, there is another map setting, and do let me know what which one you prefer. Uh, we can also... Somewhere, reference points, I don't know, come on. Game? No. Never mind. Okay, so we're going to run wanna run away on afterburner speed at minimum altitude. That might be alright. Let's see, The I don't see the sand missile, but it's probably going to move at us very soon, so we're going to see that extremely fast. Yeah, there we go, that's the one. And yeah, they're probably going to launch a lot of missiles here, because this is a flight of four aircraft, and probably they're going to eight, launch eight or so missiles at us. Ooh, Russian aircraft destroyed, that was probably over here, at these bridges, nice. So you've been launching all of them. Um, can I ask you to simply attack this guy then with your guns? Four more missiles in the air. Maybe we're going to do a little bit of something over here. You probably have a short range. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually get you out of here. I don't think it's worthwhile to use your guns to do anything. don't actually know where you're coming from. Lansk. Lask. Lask? Military base? Oh, that's pretty far. All the way down here. Okay, so let's send you down here and from there you're gonna gonna drive home, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Your RTB. Anyway, um, I don't really want you to fly straight. I want you to take a little bit of a detour here. And that should be okay. And military speed should be fine. Let's get you to lo towards low altitude. Okay, very good. New ship spotted on some naval base. Um, which one is that? Is that over here? Okay, contact report. Let's see. What have you got? Six small ships. Interesting. I don't know where, how we spotted them, but it's good to see. And there we go. These are the missiles. Oh, you're only going for this flight. Interesting. Hmm, yeah. So we lost the entire air wing there. Well, too bad. Let's get the MiG-29s here um, on a slightly different flight pattern. I do want you to be minimum altitude for a moment here. That should be all right. We've also launched, I think, an, another group of ships over here. Three, three sm small ships. Let's um, wait a second here and see what's going to happen. So first of all, what are all of these missiles? Okay, they are coming in from over here. So we are definitely... What are you? Are you being launched at these guys or are you launched at these ships? 
So these ships that we ju just launched are Polish ships, and they do carry a couple of missiles. Uh, I think about what four times eight, so eight missiles each. And I would would very very much like these ship these anti shipping weapons to be launched right now. It's six hundred mi six hundred knots. These guys are nearly six hundred knots. Very small difference. You are how far away? Twenty nine miles. You are twenty six miles. So in a couple of seconds, we should actually be able to launch more missiles here. Do we want to wait though, or do we want to just overwhelm them? I think we might want to overwhelm them. Okay, let's see. Let's also see what these missiles here are actually for. Don't really know. That's sometimes so weird. It's to no 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 view relief layer. Maybe that's a little bit nicer. It typically does need a couple of seconds to update. Where are these missiles going at? They're coming in for there we go. This is the relief layer. L let me know w which one you think is better. Yeah, and you're being you're being launched at our ships here. Okay, twenty-seven miles. Twenty-five miles. More vampires. Interesting. Over here. Guys, I don't know whether I find the relief layer so much nicer. It's a little bit weird sometimes. Okay, what are you being launched at? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. What can we do down here, though? They've definitely launched missiles at our ships, I think. We are close enough to some of our shore-based defenses, so that's nice, but... Do you really want to do it this way? Okay, 20, uh, 28 miles. You are theoretically a little bit faster, so let's wait until you guys here, let's say until the last one here is about 25 miles off. Yeah, that should be okay. So the reason why I want that everyone is arriving sort of at the same time is simply so that they are have a little bit harder time at being overwhelmed. 26 miles, 25 miles, there we go, that should be okay. And then we're going to use this group to launch missiles at. And I think we are going to specifically target these two guys down here because they have not been targeted already. And you know what? Let's say four from you and four from you. I don't think we want to do much more at this moment. So simply launch, have one ship launch all of its missiles at the very same time. Here we go. New contact, skunk. Okay, that's that's a ship then, isn't it? Oh. Where is that? Birdsong 3. 62 miles. Interesting, that must be down here, doesn't it? Can't see it. Alright. Anyway, this is going to be promising over there. Again, we don't know what these missiles here are. Our aircrafts are withdrawing. We did shoot down at least a couple of them. I don't see another strike coming in. You guys here are annoying, but there's not much we can do. It's very hard to get by Kaliningrad because there's so much stuff that we need to recognize over there. Germans haven't launched yet. Oh, this is another group. Is that ours? No, it's not. Okay, let's wait a second over here. Who are you? Okay, you are the Ellen. That's fine too. Designated skunk. I don't see any 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 missile that is being launched at us. We've got these two things. I don't know what they are, where they're coming from. Yeah, Kaliningrad is really waking up here. So they are shooting a lot of missiles this way and that way. I think most of them are trying to attack our shipping. Okay, you guys are fine though. 600 miles per hour. RB-15. Polish. Is it a Polish missile? I don't know who manufactures it. And you can, by the way, see just how low these guys are flying at 30 feet above sea level. What? Brown spike? Neutral? What on earth is going on? That that's that's silly. 
Okay. You guys. Ah, uh, okay, that's that's you. Yeah, you are not under our control yet, at, at the very least. Maybe we're gonna get these guys under our control at some point, uh, but we really have to see. Okay, there we go. Tornado has departed the airbase, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna send you pretty much straight at uh, these guys. Yeah, that should be okay. How are you doing? You also have the harm missiles, so anti-radiation missiles. These will allow us to do a lot of damage against um, the Russian air base, uh, but whether or not that's going to be enough, we have to see. Let's accelerate time a little bit over here. Going to keep an eye on these missiles coming in from the left, our missiles, and from the right, their missiles. So let's see what that is and, and what that's going to result in. Another missile. One of them being launched here from Kaliningrad itself. I'm not sure what they are and where they are flying at. A couple of SU-27s up there. They might be going for our, our aircraft. It's very hard to attack their aircraft though with, with all of their air defenses. They have so, so much over here. Pretty much all of these guys are probably air defenses. Um, and we definitely saw that with the MiG-29s that were coming in too close. They just murdered them. Straight out just shot all of them down. Isn't this a nice picture though? So how far are you? Weigh 12 miles. You're 14. That's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly alright. You're coming in more or less at the same time. So that's what I like to see. Right. Um, you don't really have long range air defenses. Engage defensively. Yeah, you can return to base. Engage defensively. Does that mean you are being attacked by these missiles and you know that for some reason already? Okay, these are all SU-24s. You know what? We're going to try here with our MiG-29s. Radar has been destroyed. Yeah, okay, so that's what we thought. These guys here were launching their, their anti-radiation missiles. We do have a couple of radar installations. These guys here that are currently being jammed. Just look at, they have full rain of the air over here. We have so, we have big troubles. Okay, this is a merchant vessel, that much we know. Can we actually pass by that? Merchant vessel is fine there, and we don't need to be too concerned about this. We also have the Missouri, which still carries a lot of Tomahawk weapons, um, and maybe we're going to launch more of them. But let's see about that in a couple of seconds. Right, the MiG-29s, you are fine for now. You're very much following the low profile there, aren't you? We're not going to launch yet, we could theoretically reach them, but only if they are not really uh, turning away or anything. And even if they are just following their course, they probably uh, won't be able to do much. Okay, so we have identified that merchantman up there. So that's that's pretty much alright, and we don't need to be too concerned about that. The Vigar 3. I am concerned about this submarine, though. And what exactly it is. Don't have a helicopter here in the vicinity. The closest one is probably this one is over here and that is only being ready so it needs another three hours or so to be to be complete right let's zoom in over here these guys here are being jammed these guys here are not i think they do have only an infrared following signature so let's see what's going to happen whether or not our four missiles per per ship are enough i don't know but let's see looking pretty good so first strike over there you can see some of these naval missiles being retargeted uh, on other ships, so that's perfectly good for us. Nice, actually. Very good. Well, that was much, so that was a big, big overkill on, on our side there. Uh, but still, I'm pretty happy with this. Better this way than the other way around. So, yeah, that's perfectly alright. You guys still have some missiles, and I'm not sure whether these guys up here have indeed launched their stuff. Sorry, that's not what I meant. What I meant is to attack these guys here. Yes, we can attack them, actually. So we've got, um, what, 16, so that means about 5 per per ship. 
Again, it doesn't matter too much if we are not doing this perfectly fine. Okay, let's do it like this. So that makes for three missiles per ship. Uh, five missiles per ship, sorry. And maybe that's going to be enough to, to do something against these guys. Let's wait here until these guys have launched a number of their missiles. These guys will probably run out of, out of fuel at some point. Where are they going? <laughs> Somewhere over there. Doesn't really matter. Don't think I can retarget them. Come on, just launch your missiles. And once you only have one left, I think I want to find out whether we can do anything over here. No. Not even against the ships that are in, in the vicinity. Okay, and let's just fire one missile here. Probably won't do much. We might as well try. Okay, just beautiful. Just look at all of these missile launches. So many missiles in the air there. Okay, that's fine then. And um, that's pretty much all of your stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return you guys to base. Is returning to docking? Yeah, fine. Kind of weird fly past this over here. These guys are almost looking as though they were going for the uh, for the missiles and, and air things. Oh, look at that. This Sam here has actually started to launch uh, some missiles against uh, the other missiles that, that are in the air. So that's nice to see. I would also like you to engage this SC-24, but apparently we can't really do this. Yeah, but that's nice because that means maybe we're going to shoot down some of these things. You here, you have a lot of range, so let's actually go military speed. Dial up the speed here a little bit. We can probably come in a little bit closer. That's going to be alright. Can I actually ask you to launch a single missile at these guys? At least once you've got enough target confirmation. Maybe we're going to throw them off um, target and that would be lovely. Yeah, okay. So more missiles coming in against these vampires. That's good to see. New missile over there. Are you also launching at our ships? This looks funny. I don't think they, these guys can target onto a ship, uh, can, can lock onto ships. Ooh, where are you and how do you come here? Really? I didn't think someone was over here. It's okay then. You've got a lot of range. You've got military speed, that's fine. Let's try to get over here. There's another bridge down for us, so that's that's really disappointing, but Okay. These anti air missiles are coming in. Perfectly fine. Didn't really destroy anything though. That's okay. What we do need though is is this guy to engage over here. Yes, we sort of knew that would was gonna happen now. Come on, you need to destroy that. Otherwise our ships are gonna sink. Yeah, and these guys are just streaming past. That's okay. These guys are now being engaged, so that really is our main objective. And that should be okay. Right. So you could theoretically launch at this guy. But I would like to be a little bit closer for that. Nothing we can do over here at all. And you know what? This miss this submarine doesn't really need to intercept the merchantman. But I would like to come into the path of this submarine here. Okay, some of our missiles are running out of uh, fuel over here. That's fine. But the Tomah are coming in here. Haha! <laughs> and, and just look at that. Some of these guys are launching 
miss out at our miss out that they just stream past because they probably don't know what what exactly uh, they are targeting there so that's okay we do really need to shoot down some of their weapons there didn't see what miss out it was it's a little bit gamey that sometimes you can't see that even though we don't theoretically know what miss out it is down here in the lock you can sometimes see it it's an as 18 kazoo let's briefly have a look at that i don't want to cheat but i just want to know what they have is 18 kazoo that's surface ships yeah so it's going against our surface ships it's not a very big oh well it's about a ton uh, uh, 1000 tons uh, sorry 1000 kilos a ton okay we are still launching missiles at that so that's perfectly all right yeah more missiles there so you know what what we're going to do here is we're going to turn on your radar and offensive OCM that should allow you to target this guy now it's bringing up a little bit over there that's alright yeah we know about these radar installations how are our guys coming along with the harm missiles so with the anti-radiation missiles you're yeah, still some way off about half an hour or so so probably next episode how, how, how about you 250 yeah probably probably about the same yeah, that's all right. We could actually ask you to probably be a little bit faster. It's not going to change much. Okay, more missiles being launched because we apparently don't don't get that. Another missile. Are you launched at our at our aircrafts? I wonder. It does look a little bit like that, doesn't it? Like they're coming this way. And by the way, why are you not launching against this guy? Out of DLZ. Hmm. Come on, just do it. And since you added, also please. Not at the vampires. Is this only missiles? I thought there was an aircraft in there. Do you have sensors? Come on. Okay, so there might be coming in some some retribution for our ships because I don't think we're gonna intercept these missiles here. Okay, you need to pretty much allocate anything you have on onto these guys. Generic flares. No, you'd be doing that anyway. Come on, man. Oh, you're very low. That's probably why. Ah, these guys are coming in again against these obbies. That's funny. That's, that's pretty nice, actually. Okay, let's go for a little bit high altitude here. Hope that we're going to see these guys on, on our raid installations now. And that should allow us to... Why are you so slow? Come this way. Go military speed. More missiles. Hmm. What are you? Are you being launched at these missiles? That would be perfectly fine because they are just running there out of fuel anyway. So I'm, I would be perfectly fine with these guys being continued. More missiles being detected. That's all right. If if you just care 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 about that stuff over there, that's okay. Okay, let's go to medium altitude here. Maybe that's going to be enough for, for to engage these guys. I can't ask you to send more missiles there. That's a little bit of a pity. Guided weapon. Yes, we know that these are guided weapons. More missiles up there. Yeah, we, we we lost one of our missiles that were just flying through Russian territory over here, but I'm I'm fine with that. Let them let, let them waste their missiles. That's that's all right. Uh, you guys here, can you engage them? Sensors again. Let's turn radar on. 
you know, all being jammed, but I think that's fine. More aircrafts down here. We don't really know their objective. We've got a couple of F-16s. You know what? They might be they might be perfectly fine aircraft to deal with these fences. How about you? You are also F-16s. You know what? Let's actually turn you over here. And let's allocate a couple of things. Two. 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 You're going to turn around. You're going to spot them soon. More missiles. I think you're just dealing with this still. Yeah, probably with this RB. Let's watch these two missiles come. Ooh, they are coming in for the base. We've got a lot of stuff docked here. It's mostly going to come online in about an hour or so. Lots of missiles being launched at these guided weapons. Same over here. This is this is kind of funny. Well, to be fair, they don't know what they are, so sucks to air missile. That might be on our our aircraft actually. Another one. Well, they don't know what this is. For all they know, that these could be ground attack missiles. How about you guys here? It's not going to take long. Some of these guys are going to be shot down immediately. Oh, we did shoot down some of these guys, so that's perfectly good. But I think only this one here has a chance to intercept. These guys probably don't. Because they're coming in from behind and they need to catch up. And it's just not... Is it going to be maybe? Just maybe? No. Another miss there. So you are probably going to hit now. Don't know what you're going to hit. Contact. You destroyed a large pier. Honestly, that could be worse. Could have been worse. You didn't lose any ships, just... Just the docking installation itself. More missiles over there. We have launched against these guys, so that's nice. Oh, and these surface to air missiles are coming in for, for you. So, you know what? Let's go to minimum altitude here. And hope that we're going to be able to outrun them. And what I would actually like to do then is allocate more weapons to you. And another weapon to you. Just be as low as possible. Gonna have to burn a speed. That should be okay. Lots of, of missiles being spotted over here. Um, you guys can actually turn away now and be maybe minimum altitude terrain following. Hopefully that is gonna gonna get you out of harm's way, so to say. I would really like these guys here to be shot down. So there guys, I uh, think uh, NVIDIA crashed a little bit. So um, that being said, I realize time is way too far. So let's see what's going to happen over here, whether we are going to be fully screwed, uh, both with our flight of uh, MiG 29s with all of these missiles coming in. They are very fast and good missiles. Um, I'm very excited to see all of these missiles coming in against uh, some of these ships up over here. Don't know what's going to happen there exactly. And over here, this Tomahawk also uh, might be interesting to see what's going to happen there. But most importantly here with our Polish, <coughs> pardon me, with our Polish raid installation. So that is interesting. Likewise with these three guys, I think we are doing some, some good stuff over here. By the way, where are our F-22s? We did have some. You are over here. And then we've got another couple of guys who are coming in towards these tankers. Yeah, that's okay. Perfectly fine there. And um, these F-22s, we might send them a little bit closer into harm's way. Uh, because these guys are flying extremely high. Uh, they are also very, very well equipped with dealing with certain things. So um, they're a little bit, you know, stealth fighter things. So th that might be a good idea to do there. By the way, have we any information about you? 
You also look like a merchantman. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fair. Um, I would really like to get more information on these, but I'm reluctant to send um, some aircraft there just to, to identify them. Look at all of this. So many aircraft. and But I don't really want to get all of our our flights through here and just there to, to intercept them. Let's see about that. Right. All of these missiles are coming in. That's nice. That means we have, I think, two missiles left, two, two long-range missiles. We might get over here, try to engage some of these aircrafts that are buzzing around over there, but not sure whether that is really that, that sufficient. Um, yeah, most importantly, the most important thing that we need to do is take care of uh, the situation there with the uh, anti-air missiles uh, blocking us off entirely. So uh, that's how these 12 harms and then another 16 harms are going to be extremely useful. Uh, just to take out all of this, all of this stuff that is so pretty much blocking us completely over here. So yeah, that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I see you. Hope to see you again next time. Do leave a like and all of that if you want. Uh, yeah, hope to see you around. Bye bye.